this episode, I have a confession to make, which is that I am a tool addict. Whenever I see a new SEO related tool, I have the need to, to try it out, to test it out, to see if it might be valuable for my work or not. Many of these tools are paid, right? And it's reasonable because of course they facilitate and, and save so much time, so much of our, of our analysis time, right? So it's reasonable that, that they have a cost, of course. Um, and, and it's a business, it takes effort to make them at the end of the day. However, there are also really, really good tools that end up being free, right? And in today's episode, I would like to focus on those tools, those tools that are free uh, to use and deliver so much value, right? And these are tools that I personally use and I would like to showcase today. So I, would, I would like to, to share with you how I use many of these tools, why I think that they are super useful and that you may end up finding value in them too. So you can start making the most out of them. Let's take a look which are, which are these tools. For the first tool out there, let's start with one that we will tend to use at the beginning of the SEO process, which is a keyword tool, a keyword research tool, right? And I love keywords everywhere because it integrates as an as a, as a extension, uh, whether you use Chrome or Firefox too. So for example, for whatever keyword that you search for, digital nomad backpacks, for example, it will give you all the related keywords with the key metrics here uh, for database that you have selected already in, in the configurations panel. And it will provide you also the metrics for it, the, the search volume here, the cost, cost per click, also for the people also search for, for other related topics. So it's pretty, pretty handy. You can export uh, all the, the, the keywords as a CSV a very, very straightforward and useful way. Once we have the keywords, the next step is useful to start optimizing our, our content, also a little bit of technical analysis, but let's let's stay a little bit with content optimization here because one of the other free, easy to use tools that I love uh, to use to validate the, the, the metadata op optimization of, of, my, of my site pages that I am optimizing for is this metatax.io website uh, in which you can include whatever URL here. So for example, in my case, I will add here the remoters job page, and it will show me a preview already of the metadata of, of this particular page of, of my site. So you, we, I can see the title, the description here, and it, it shows me how it looks uh, in, in, in Google SERPs in the Google search here, here in the Facebook open graph and, and Twitter card here. Um, and I can start here playing a little bit around if I start optimizing for it and changing it. So for example, remoters. Uh, so for example, if I change here a little bit, remote telecommuting jobs for digital nomads and professionals, it shows me when it will be truncated here and a little bit more to tweak also the, the, the description. Check out the biggest list of remote jobs, offers and companies are remote for every industry and job type. Um, uh, don't miss any of them with the remoters job board. So it shows me again a the, the preview here where it is going to be truncated. So I, I love it. You can also select the different previews for the different websites here for LinkedIn, Pinterest, et cetera, whatever that you want to optimize for. And it's so, so good. It's, it's for quick validations of, of the metadata optimization of my main pages. I come and check, double check in a very straightforward way. If you are an international SEO, you will really appreciate this tool, the Live Sort tool by AccuRanker that is completely free to use uh, in which you can include any keyword select the country and um, language uh, option that you want to check for and any specific location, right? And if you want to see the mobile SERPs or the desktop SERPs. So for example, if I search for, I want to see um, the results for the international SEO consultant query from New York as a mobile user agent, right? And we can see directly here how it looks like, oh, it's me. How nice. So you can check, you can validate, and we can see uh, the local results uh, in Google Maps here for 
for as 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 if we were in in New York, which is pretty nice. So for an international SEO, this is very very handy to take a preview, to take a look at the preview how how the the results would look if we were searching from there. Understandably, it, it might be uh, far more useful for many more queries or a full better experience to use a VPN or a proxy. But if you cannot use it and you want again a quick validation, the live search tool is 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 a very handy tool to have. If you're optimizing your website to give the best mobile search experience, you are likely going to find this tool very, very handy too, is the Mobile Moxie Mobile Serve Test. Again, uh, they have a paid version, but they provide a lot with their free version um, here of, of the test tool. So you can select, again, any tool, any, any country. So if you're doing also a, an international SEO project or would like to verify this for your international audience, you can select up to the sp specific city and street address, zip code is, is really impressive. And then for any given term, you can select up to two devices to check the SERP for. So we can here see uh, which are the results for the app iPhone XS Max and the Google Pixel here. And I can take a look at, uh, in this particular case, also it's very handy to take a look at how the, uh, the, the ads are displayed uh, above my result here. Oh, it, if it is showing how the, 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 the snippet is, is being shown, especially it will allow us to better understand the, 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 the click-through rate behavior of, of, of our users too, and how the uh, how our result displayed across um, the, the the SERP in in general, right? Not only uh, for a particular mobile device, but for as many as we may want to check here. So it's actually very very useful for a mobile focus mobile validations, which which you'll be doing. And many know that I have the Azure Flank generator, but also besides the Azure Flank generator, I have this simple HD access redirects and rewrite generator too for many of the most common type of scenarios for for example to redirect from non slash to slash urls or uh, from HTTP uh, to HTTPS or vice versa or to go from one page to another one or subdomain to subdirectory things like that so for example here I will choose HTTPS here and I will say okay from remoters net to yeah. This one here, oh, um, okay, it's true. It's because I will be re redirecting to a block or to a particular directory. So it can be here, whatever, right? So it will generate here the, the rules to, to include in our HD access. So it might be much easier for you to come and just copy paste based on the specifics of your URLs. And on the other hand, ones that you have implemented easily hopefully your redirects, you may want to check that, to validate that they are correctly implemented, right? And, and there's this really handy tool that is called HTTPS status to validate your URLs in bulk. Um, and for example, here I included a couple of them, but you can include many, many of them at the same time. And it will tell me in this particular case that the, they are all redirected to their HTTPS version. So the first status is, is 201 and then 200 because the, the final list destination is a 200 um, HTTP status um, URL. So for example here, again, first um, first status, second status of, of, of the destination. And it will tell me all of the, the information here, the redirect latency, the response headers information here of the first URL and where it is going here so it's actually a pretty handy tool to very to verify in bulk uh, the redirects that you have set in a migration scenario and completely for free and of course from a technical perspective we know that speed is super important not only because it is a ranking factor but because it actually has an important critical I impact on our users and their engagement on on our site right and we have I have to say like really good um, speed validation tools out there. Uh, the Lighthouse integration with Chrome is impressive. The new web dev uh, website from Google itself. And, and then uh, GT Metrics also is an ama amazing website. The web page speed uh, validator is really good, really good and very actionable, easy to gather. Uh, even the resources that are already pre-optimized is pretty impressive. Uh, however, I saw this project the other day that is actually again freemium. Uh, so we can use uh, for uh, a few pages 
completely for free that it, it will monitor our pages speed automatically uh, using the Google PageSpeed Insights uh, informa information uh, for them and it will show the evolution of the speed for I think every day yeah so for example here you can see I am using it for my top pages in my Aleda Solis uh, website here and I can uh, see desktop data and switch to mobile data too and, and uh, this is the score based on PageSpeed Insights it will tell me the, mat, mat, the most important information from, from a speed perspective using the page, uh, page speed insights uh, data and metrics, like for example, time to interactive here, uh, where it is in, in the speed index, first control full pane of my website, time to first byte, and, and here, uh, yeah, indeed, every single day that it has monitored my website, it will tell me the performance score, time to first byte again, uh, first control full pane, and time to interactive and here um, the other day they were announcing that they had already integrated the Crooks data, the Chrome UX report uh, data from the last 30 days for this particular uh, page here. So this is additional great information for you uh, to monitor uh, your, your, your most important pages of your website. Speed automatically without any effort at all and uh, see at what point it suffer or not, etc. And then uh, it allow us to add our competitors information here. So it's actually pretty good because we can do a little bit of a, of a benchmark of a comparison of how we are specifically. It allows us to set alerts if something goes um, really bad and, and beyond specific threshold that we set here in, in the tool and all this for free. Of course, if we want to uh, add more than a center, a certain numbers of, of, of URLs, it, it will ask us more than five URLs. It, it will ask us to, to upgrade, but it's pretty good at least to monitor the most important pages of our site. And potentially one of my favorite technical SEO tools at the moment, which is completely free and is impressively free, is SEOlizer. I love it because it actually started uh, last year, I think it was that it started as a um, really easy to set uh, lock analyzer. It, it didn't only uh, allow you to easily import your lock data, but actually to monitor the, the, the bot accesses to your website just by adding a little PHP code on, on, on your site. Uh, so even if you didn't have access to your lock file, in order to do um, a much more in-depth analysis there of all your log data, you can't. You will be able to track. You you will be able to 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 monitor in real time uh, the access as uh, the Google bot or any search bot on, on on your site like this, as I am showing here. Um, it it will provide you a very good looking report like this for any given time. As, as you can see here, it, it will allow you to um, go through the URLs uh, based on whatever uh, type of information you will set here. And you can see here the user agents, you can set easily the, the, all of the, the, the information that you would like to, to, to see here. You see for, for any URL that is scrolled. And it, it already segmented the URLs in a very easy to understand way and analyze way here. Uh, so for example, crawl volume per groups or HTTP status, desktop versus mobile uh, crawls of, of your site. So here you can see uh, the desktop versus mobile I wanted to show you here. It's it's so, so good. As, so you can see the, 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 the crawl share in the last month, for example, if desktop uh, user agents versus mobile ones like this and uh, and here we can see more information with, within the columns here of when this URLs were access access etc etc the average performance of each one of them and the bad bots information too hmm, important uh, to avoid spamming last week they actually announced that they were also launching the uh, crawler simulator uh, functionality, which is pretty, pretty cool because at some point I imagine that they will allow us to integrate that data and compare uh, the actual 
uh, bot access uh, accesses data with the ones of your own simula simulations here. From what I have seen, it's, it's very, very good. And it it's, oh my God, it's a proper crawler here, very well segmented uh, report here that will facilitate the analysis of all of this. You can see uh, it tells us is if, if it is indexable, title tag, the SUP, SUP status here, and we can select to see much more information here. For example, the meta description of these pages, uh, X robot tag, the meta robots, can canonical tag configuration here, etc., etc. If it is self or if it is pointing to another URL, so you can see, and all of this is for free. So I highly recommend you to check it out, SEO Lizer. Another of my favorite free tool hubs is Rantang, uh, and Rantang has a um, characteristics that most of their tools are Google Docs based. And, and some of them are not completely free, but they are freemium and they require access to, for example, SEMrush licenses. But in many, many cases, they are already super useful to use for free. And the, they have tons and many, and a few of them I actually even didn't know about because I see that they are all the time updating and releasing new tools. So for example, they have a bulk free keyword position checker here, a keyword research tool with Google autocomplete API, uh, only brand mentions finder, um, in this case, monitor monitor SEO website changes with SEO check, uh, link reclamation tool, rich snippet live and meta testing tool, or mobile friendly SERPs testing tool. And for example, in this particular case, I went to show you an example of one of these tools, the, the Rantang JSON LD schema creator here to generate the, the, the schema information to implement structured data on your website. So here you will update the information, for example, if it is an organization or not, if it is an NGO, for example, here, and it will allow you with whatever name you want to, to set here, and it will update here in, in real time, right? So you can just copy paste this on on your own HTMLs. So they have tons, take a look, it's very, very complete in this case. So it is, uh, they have tons of different sources here. Most of them are Google Docs based, super useful. Definitely check them out because they can really, really facilitate your life on doing this type of implementations that on the other hand might take a little bit of a while to go through all of the Google specifications. Uh, and then last gener but not least, I would like to share with you uh, sheetsformarketers.com, which is also another um, hub of, of tools for marketers based in Google Docs. In this case, it's, it's particularly imp impressive because they gather analytics, audits, calculators, keyword research content, uh, link building, uh, paid search ones, scrapping ones, uh, social ones, project management ones. Everything is Google Docs based, uh, Google Sheets templates. So for example, here in this particular case in technical SEO, they, they have yeah, Google indexing tester, 301 red, redirect generator, bull HTTP status code. Many of this, you see this green name one, this is uh, another 201 redirect generator here. This is a runtime one that we saw before. So this is particularly impressive because they, they, they do an aggregation of many, many of the best tools out there uh, that are Google Docs based and we have an easy way to obtain them. To, to do a content audit step-by-step, step, take a technical SEO audit checklist in this case, a simple t site audit tool, and it might definitely be worth it for you to check out that deserve a, a special mention in our free tools episode that I hope that you have enjoyed. If you know of any other free SEO tools that are is super useful for you and you think that really deserves a mention, please let me know in the comments or send me a tweet at Crawling Mondays and see you next week. Bye-bye.